guys welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha today I'll show you how to make die cut stickers with your Cricut now let's begin for this video I'll be using my two favorite brands of printable vinyl one is matte and the other is glossy before I start it's important that you know there is a maximum print area this area varies depending on the size of paper you are using if this is the first time you are using the print and cut feature on your Cricut, don't forget to calibrate your machine. Go to the menu and click on calibration. If you want to know more, I recommend watching my calibration video. The paper size you are using needs to match your settings. For this, go to the menu, settings, select load type, and select the paper you are using in the drop-down menu. I'm using leather size paper. I'll insert a square. This will serve me as a guide to placing my stickers. I'll modify the dimensions to match the maximum area for leather size paper. Now change the operation to guide. This layer will not be printed or cut, it's only a guide. Now I'll click on upload and I will choose my images. I have already uploaded the designs I'll be using, but I will show you how to do it. Go to upload images, click on browse. I'm in the folder where I download the sticker package, which is part of my subscription to Creative Fabrica. Inside the package, there is different formats, Design space is compatible with JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG, or DXF files. When I buy images to make stickers, I prefer to use the PNG files. Click on Open. Now click on Complex. Continue. This image has a transparent background. I don't need to clean it. Click on Apply and Continue. Select the print and cut image and click on upload. You can upload the images that you buy, create or download. If you don't know how to design, I recommend buying your images. You will get better results. Now I'll modify the dimensions. I want each stickers to have a width of two and a half inches. I modify the dimensions. Now I'll change the color of the canvas. This way you can see that the stickers have a white outline. Now I'll place the stickers inside the guide. Now select all the stickers and click on attach. Now I'll show you how to make stickers using an image from the Cricut library. Go to images. Remember to be able to use them, you need to have a subscription to Cricut Access. I'll be using this image. Modify the dimensions. Duplicate this layer. For this, press the Option key on your keyboard if you are using Mac OS. Press the Alt key on your keyboard if you are using Windows. Now I'll insert a circle and change the color. Bring this layer to the front and place it on the circle. I'll duplicate this piece and pressing the Option key. I'll change the color of the design. Now I'll show you how to create a sticker using offset. Click on offset, modify the settings if needed, click on apply. I'll change the color of the background. Make a copy and I'll change the colors. Now I'll show you how to make stickers using text. Type whatever you want and choose the font that you want. I'll be using two of my favorite fonts, Lanescript and Harvest Kitchen. I'll add some decorative elements for this go to images and I'll be using this fruit, add to canvas, I'll modify it and use the pieces that I want. Now that I have the pieces I want, select everything and click on weld. I'll duplicate this piece, I'll insert a rectangle, I'll modify the dimensions and change the color. Bring the design to the front and place it on the rectangle. 
Now for this, I'll use offset, modify the settings if needed, click on apply. Now I'll change the color of the background to white. You can choose the color of your preference. I'll change the dimensions. Now select the graphic and the background and click on flatten. You can select everything and click on flatten, but I do prefer to make individual stickers. I duplicate the guide layer and arrange these stickers inside. Don't forget to attach them. Now click on make it. As you can see, I have two sheets. Click on continue, send to printer. Select your printer, the number of copies. Toggle up the bleed option. If you want to know why, check my video on when to use bleed. Toggle on the system dialog and click on print. Minimize this window because your printer settings will show up in the back. I'll use the glossy printable vinyl paper for this sticker, so I'll change my printer settings. I'll change the paper search to the rear paper fit and the media type to photo paper glossy. Click on print. I'll place the paper in the rear tray. I fast forward this part of the video. Printing these stickers took 1 minute and 20 seconds. Now I'll place this paper. For page 2, I'm using matte vinyl paper sent to the printer. Select your printer, toggle up the bleed, toggle on the system dialog, and click on print. Minimize this window, change the printer settings, change the paper source to rear paper fit, and the media type is plain paper. Click on print. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process of printing these stickers took one minute. Now go back to design space and select the material. Go to browse all materials. For this, I'll use a costume material. If you don't know how to create a new material, check my video on how to do it. These are the settings I use for this material. Pressure 290. I'm using the fine point blade and one pass. Click on done. Now load the material. I fast forwarded this part of the video, cutting these stickers took 3 minutes. The first thing your machine will do is read the registration marks. I didn't have any issue using glossy paper, keep in mind Maker 3, Explore 3 and Maker have a more advanced sensor than Explore 2. If you encounter any problems, change your machine to another position or cover the registration marks with matte scotch tape. These stickers look great. Go back to Design Space, click on Browse All Materials. I'll also use a custom material. These settings are Pressure 200. I'll be using the Fine Point Blade and One Pass. Load the material. I fast forwarded this part of the video. Cutting these stickers took 2 minutes and 25 seconds. As you can see, these stickers came out great. If you want to learn how to make waterproof stickers, check the video about it. If you are watching this video and still have questions, you can check my blog if you are interested in consulting. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions or you want to know how to make KissCut stickers, let me know in the comment section below. If you are interested in a Cricut or a printer, I'll share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to Cricut, I invite you to join the Cricut Crafting Corner group on Facebook. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.